Greetings from the Eccentric Man, and what we have here is our 2023 project, the English Civil War. Stay tuned and have a little look, deep dive into the boxes. Eccentric Man YouTube channel is kindly sponsored by those nice people at Lost Ark Games in Stevenage. Check them out online and in store for all your gaming goodies. And here we have our major project for 2023. Uh, spoke about it on our uh, live show a little while ago. John from Lost Ark Games and myself are doing the um, English Civil War. And uh, we're looking to use Pike and Shot of the Black Powder Deriviant for our games. So we were going to wait a little bit until we've caught up with our other projects. And we've now both finished our main 15 mil armies. John was doing the Assyrians and I'm doing the New Kingdom Egyptians. They're finished and I'll put a little video up of those as a little showcase uh, in another video. But here we have our starter sets and we got two uh, starter battalions each. We both got a box of cuirassiers, we both got uh, boxes of dragoons, we've got some loose uh, packs for different bits to build in uh, some extras and John's got another box of arquebusiers, mounted uh, arquebusiers I think, something like that. So this is what we're, we're uh, going to be painting up for a little while to come. Let's have a little look in the boxes and see what we get. Our project will be based in the West Country and we're looking at the Hopton and Waller conflicts in the English Civil War. Hopton being for the Royalists and Waller being for the Parliamentarians. In life they were good friends, but in battle they were pitted against one another. So, looking at the contents, we've got 80 plastic pike and musket infantry, 24 plastic cavalry. I think that either gives us 2 units of 12 or 3 units of 8. I can't remember which, uh, which way round it is, uh, but I'll, I'll have a look and, uh, and see. And then we've got 10 plastic firelock musketeers and 40 full colour flags covering Parliament and the Royalists. So we'll, we'll have a delve in the box and we'll see what they look like inside. So first out of the box, the command sprue. And I think you can see there, the detail is not bad at all. So all plastic figures in this box. So what we'll be starting on first, so we get a, a few of these. So two of the foot command. And then we've got uh, some dragoons. Once again, quite nice, the uh, the detail. Yeah, not bad at all. Let's move it across so you get a, maybe the lighter background might help a bit. Yeah. My standard bearer, so this must be the command sprue because you've got the trumpet there as well. Yeah, that's quite nice. Uh, well, perhaps they're all the same. So you got ah yeah, that's it. They, it does that just does everything. Yeah, rather nice. Yeah, rather nice. Huh? And then we got the infantry sprues, pike and musket. Yeah, get the I like the detail on it. That's going to be interesting to uh, to paint up. So some uh, firing and some with sloped. So we're going to have to think about how 
we do the bases. Yeah. Not bad at all, I think. Quite nice. I think they're all going to be basically the same from there. Got your pikes at the top. Yeah. So that really is the box mostly. We'll have a dive down and see if we can find some more of the cavalry. So see if we can find the, the horses. Bear with us and I'll be back. Here we have the horse sprue and yeah, not bad. Fair, fair amount of uh, detail on it, the raised surfaces for the straps and the harnesses and the bridle. So they shouldn't be too difficult to, to pick out. And there you've got your pistols for your holsters. So not too much to stick on. Uh, what else do you get? You get your fire locks. Those like sort of skirmisher type people, I suppose. So you get ten of these in the box. Let's uh, just focus in on them. Ten of these. There. That detailing is okay on the back to pick out with a paintbrush. Nice. And then uh, to stick them on, if you wanted to, go on the plastics. There you go, your plastic uh, boxes. It's, I think they're, it could be 40 by 40s. Yeah, they're But we'll be using uh, MDF bases from wall bases. Uh, not quite sure what we're gonna, we, we're thinking about doing it slightly different. Um, Whereas for the Pike and Shot Black Powder, it's looking at 12 musketeers on each flank of the pike and then 16 pikemen. It makes the footprint of the unit pretty big. So if you're thinking about it going onto a table, uh, we're thinking perhaps just doing eight musketeers on each flank, but sticking with 16 pike in the center. You don't take casualties off in the rules. So I can't see that being a problem. And it'll give us a bit more space to have some more of the battalion on the table. So that's the, uh, the big box. We've got two of these boxes each. So that's 160 uh, pike and shot to paint up. And 48 cavalry so far. So let's have a look what else we've got. Our first box of extras are the cuirassiers uh, and we're looking probably at one unit of cuirassiers uh, in the army. I shall be doing Hazelrig's lobsters. So a parliamentarian force and they were named the lobsters because of the full plate armour that they wore, the cuirassier armour, head to toe. So let's have a little look what we get in the box. So 12 cuirassiers including command and separate weapons in their hands so you have pistols and swords trumpet over there and the standard so yeah quite uh quite nice these are the metal uh, figures and of course no english civil war army would be complete without some dragoons so here we've got a pack of dragoons and you get 12 mounted riders made of metal and 12 foot dragoons for dismounted and they come with separate hats to stick on so yeah get a command for both sets of uh, mounted and dismounted I've also got a pack of dismounted horse holders. So uh, let's dig that one out of the box and we can have a little look at that one as well. 
But yeah, castings are quite nice. Bit of flash to take off, but other than that, nice details on the figures. I guess we can pick one of those up. Focus a bit on the oh dear, oh dear, it's very slippery. It looks like he's got a quick cooking pot next to him and uh, something dangling down furry. Yeah, nice detail on them. Be interesting to paint up. Nice moustache and beard. This is a little vignette of the Dragoon horse holder feeding them an apple. So that will make a nice little uh, vignette. To fill the table and to put down if I dismount the dragoons. Might have to think about getting another pack of these so that I have eight horses in total. I think two uh, two sets would look uh, much better rather than just one, but we'll see. It's all additional money, isn't it? I suppose having paid out for the whole uh, lot already. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll think about that. But nice, nice little character vignette. That brings us on to the rest of the uh, box of bits and pieces. And we've got some blisters here. So we've got a couple of characters. Sir Thomas Fairfax, the Earl of Essex, and the ECW standard bearer. So just different things to add in for uh, the army. A little bit of artillery, so I've gone for a light gun and crew, and a demi Culvin, culverin and crew. Got to have a little bit of uh, artillery, so that's what I've uh, got for mine. And finally, some blisters of command. I think we may may uh, have some extra um, units. So we thought we'd go for the, the metal uh, command groups and they can help fill out the army. So that's it. All the English Civil War that we've bought so far, we've bought ourselves some reference books and we've been looking a little bit online. So we'll, uh, we'll keep people updated on our Friday bi-weekly, is it bi-weekly, or fortnightly uh, live chats to say how we're getting on with our different projects. So look out for those coming along. We've got one coming up on the 10th of February. It will be about 8pm Greenwich Main Time. Here are the flags that come with the uh, box. And they, uh, they do a variety within there. They've got the Royalists and the Parliamentarians. So be using these uh, as we go along perhaps. But we have been looking online at Flags of War and War Games Designs uh, for some of the units which aren't featured on our uh, flag sheets here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, look out for more updates with the English Civil War. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit the notification buttons, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It all helps the channel uh, keep going along nicely. Um, yep, until the next time, take care. I forgot to mention that we're gonna be live streaming on Friday the 10th of February at eight o'clock Greenwich Mean Time, that's 8pm in the evening, UK.